Welcome to another edition of the Warrior Daily. I'm Sports Information Director Jeff Weiss, and joined today by head softball coach Gary Bryce. Gary, last weekend at the conference tournament, the Warriors went two and two, had some exciting games, but it wasn't quite enough in the end to reach the NCAA tournament. Well, again, you go back to Ashland. We drew Ashland in the first round. We had them two one in the sixth inning, and they had a, and a, and a Lauren threw a two hitter. And a, they got three runs on one hit that went about four feet over the first baseman's head and uh, beat us, and um, I think 4-2. And had we beaten them, uh, I think that would have put us in a better position for to get a bid to the regionals, but didn't happen. And uh, went on, bet, beat a real good uh, Saginaw Valley team uh, that had beaten us twice during the regular year, and then had a slugfest with uh, Grand Valley, went 10 innings, and. Uh, they were leading the country in home runs, but we outslugged them in that game and uh, won 10-6. And then had a real good game against Ferris, and Ferris just flat out beat us. And you know, credit to them. Last week, the conference office announced the uh, all GLIAC teams. Allison Allen was the first team outfielder. Uh, Rebecca Ryan and Lauren Heiston, um, honorable mention all GLIAC. I mean, you're talking about the sled fest with Grand Valley. I mean, Allison Allen hits a three-run home run with two outs on the top of the seventh to tie that game. Then in the top of the tenth, with first base open, they decided to pitch to her, and she hits another three-run bomb over the center field fence. Obviously, well deserving of first team all the honors. Oh, well, I mean, she was an All-American last year, and uh, I mean, she's a pure D1 hitter. Uh, you know, she ended up with 13 home runs, and uh, we played some tough competition. And I think she set some new Wayne records and uh, runs scored, and uh, I don't know about RBIs, but probably close to it. And uh, we moved her from first to the third spot and uh, put two speedsters up in front of her, and I think that helped her RBI count. And fortunately for us, she's just a junior. Speaking of the juniors, no seniors on the roster at the end of the season. Everybody's coming back. You've got a good recruiting class coming in. What's that look forward to for 2012? Well, it comes down to pitching. I mean, you know, we recruited a couple throwers, and uh, hopefully they're going to come in and uh, solidify uh, pitchers that we have. We would hope that the pitchers that threw this year would get better and be more sounder, more mature. And if that happens, uh, we have all our we have all our hitters back and uh, I think our average was 317, but we uh, hit a lot of home runs and we scored a lot of runs and we're just going to have to play better defensive ball and get better pitching. I think one of the surprises this year was freshman Lauren McLaughlin coming in as a rookie and getting 17 wins, kind of untested. You weren't really sure what you're going to get from her. A solid freshman year for Lauren. Well, I think that's a solid freshman year for everybody. I think when we got had her in the fall, we'd actually recruited about nine throwers and were, and were turned down, obviously, by eight of them. <laughs> and uh, uh, Lauren, uh, when we saw her in the, in the fall, she really had not been somebody that had thrown a lot. Uh, she thought her workout was 10 minutes, and that, that's what it was. And she did put some time in. I think she's still learning uh, what it's all about. And uh, and uh, if you'd asked me in the fall, I would have put some money up and uh, lost it, uh, whether she would have won 17 or not. So she did a great job for us, and hopefully she continues to improve, and, and she moves up in the win count. Another Lauren that was a, a, good, a pleasant surprise this year, Lauren Heist had moved from second base to shortstop made some incredible plays at short. Obviously, you said you moved her up to the second spot in the order to use her speed. She had a very great year for the Warriors. Uh, she did. Uh, you know, she had to cover too much ground. She got to, to a lot of balls, I think, a lot of shortstops wouldn't get to. And because of that, and sometimes couldn't make, didn't make the throw across the diamond where we could handle it, uh, she got probably more errors than a uh, normal shortstop would get. But you certainly want a player that can uh, cover 60 feet, she can cover 60 feet, and she gets that blooper that goes over the infield and the left field. She's got a good range up to about 100 feet out there, and uh, that makes us tough. Sounds good. Well, thanks for watching this edition of the Warrior Daily.